Welcome to the Social Lens and thank you for watching. In the heart of Johannesburg, the Raya Voya Bus Rapid Transit System, once hailed as a beacon of efficient public transportation, now faces a formidable challenge. Today, we delve into the unraveling saga of the Raya Voya system as the operator, Biotrans, is thrust into the turbulence of business rescue. The move comes in the wake of escalating financial troubles and an attempt by creditors to seize the company's buses. The Raya Voya board has been dissolved and Mahida Teob, a senior business rescue practitioner and specialist forensic auditor, has taken charge of the bus line. The Raya Voya bus rapid transit system, approved by the Johannesburg City Council in 2006 and operational since 2009, aimed to provide a safe, efficient, and affordable means of public transport. However, Biotrans, the operator responsible for managing the day-to-day -day operations, has faced mounting financial challenges, casting a shadow over the effectiveness of the ambitious transportation initiative. Biotrans' descent into financial turmoil had been a cause for concern for some time, affecting not only the company but also the thousands of commuters relying on the Raya Voya bus service. Last week, the situation reached a critical point when two of Biotrans' creditors applied for business rescue, alleging mismanagement and maladministration. This move prompted the business rescue practitioner, Mahida Teob, to take decisive action. In an exclusive interview, Teob expressed that the company should have opted for business rescue much earlier, hinting at the lack of proactive measures in addressing the financial challenges. The decision to place Biotrans under business rescue is seen as a last-ditch effort to salvage the once-promising Raya Voya system and protect the interests of both creditors and commuters. One of the significant consequences of Biotrans being placed under business rescue is the dissolution of the Raya Voya board. The decision to dissolve the board underscores the severity of the financial crisis and the need for a comprehensive restructuring of the bus operator's operations. With Mahia Teob assuming control, the focus now shifts to stabilizing the company, investigating allegations of mismanagement, and formulating a viable recovery plan. The creditors who initiated the business rescue process have cited allegations of mismanagement and maladministration as the primary reasons for their action. These claims raise questions about the governance and oversight mechanisms within Biotrans. It remains to be seen whether these allegations are substantiated through the business rescue process and whether accountability measures will be implemented to rectify any identified shortcomings. The financial troubles of Biotrans have had a direct impact on the daily lives of commuters who rely on the Raya Voya bus service. Kenny Konene, the transport MMC in the city of Johannesburg, has welcomed the decision to place Biotrans under business rescue, expressing hope that this move will pave the way for a more stable and efficient public transportation system in the future. The Raya Voya bus rapid transit system was conceived as a transformative solution to Johannesburg's transportation challenges. Its approval in 2006 marked a commitment by the government to address issues of safety, efficiency, and affordability in public transportation. However, the recent developments with Biotrans underscore the complexities and challenges associated with implementing and sustaining such ambitious projects. In an explosive revelation, Kenny Kunene has shed light on critical issues within the Raya Voya bus rapid transit system, stating that the board overseeing Biotrans was comprised of inexperienced individuals, many of whom were previously taxi drivers. According to Kunene, this lack of experience in the intricacies of managing a public transportation system contributed significantly to the financial woes that Biotrans now faces. Kunene's assertion suggests that the composition of the board may have been a key factor in the alleged mismanagement and maladministration that led to the business rescue. The decision-making processes within the board, if guided by individuals lacking the necessary expertise, could have resulted in flawed strategies and operational inefficiencies. The transition from taxi driving to managing a major public transportation entity requires a nuanced understanding of logistics, financial management, and regulatory compliance, aspects that may not have been adequately addressed. Furthermore, Kenny Kunene emphasized that the board, in its pursuit of profit, may have compromised the primary objectives of the Raya Voya system, which were to provide safe, efficient, and affordable public transportation. This prioritization of profit over the core mission of the initiative could have led to decisions that negatively impacted both the financial stability of Biotrans and the overall quality of service provided to commuters. Kunene's bold statement, from the beginning, the Biotrans deal set shareholders up for failure, suggests a fundamental flaw in the structuring of the deal and raises questions about the due diligence undertaken before appointing individuals to key positions within the organization. The assertion implies that the issues facing Biotrans were not solely a result of unforeseen circumstances but were, to some extent, embedded in the foundation of the deal itself. 
As Johannesburg grapples with the fallout of the Raya Voya crisis, the future of this once promising initiative hangs in the balance. If you found this video informative, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time.